Welcome to the Ernie Peters Cooking Show! It's the Ernie Peters Cooking Show! The Ernie Peters Cooking Show! Welcome to another episode of Ernie Peters! This week, we'll be making microwave popcorn in the microwave. In order to make microwave popcorn, you have to do these easy steps. 1. Open the bag. What the? It won't open. Hey, look, it opened it. So, anyways, the next step is to put it in the microwave. I mean, you can look at these bags for instructions, but I really like my popcorn meal cooked. So, it says 2 minutes to 30, 2 minutes or 30, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And, heck with that. 10 minutes. Start. Well, this might take a while, so while we're waiting, I'm going to show you guys another one of my favorite wintertime treats. Tap water, I love tap water. Whenever I am thirsty, I get tap water. You turn on the tap, and out comes water. You turn off the tap, there goes water. I like tap water. In order to make my favorite treat, I have to get snow from outside. And so, you take your bowl, as so, and plant some nice clean snow. That means there's no dirt in here or something like that. Because if you eat it, you can get sick or something. So I dip my bowl in the ground. Ah! My skull fell off! You have to make sure you're warm, because if you aren't, you get frostbite. My mom always told me, if you get fresh bite, you ruin your beautiful face. And that would be awful. And so, I get my snow. This is a good amount, right about here. So, yeah, let's just kind of just fill it up with snow, and then... So you get your snow. And we'll bring that on inside. Come on. So, now that you got your snow from outside and we're all unbundled, you can now put the secret ingredient in the snow. The secret ingredient would be handy dandy maple syrup. Always have some handy. I mean, if you, at least if you watch the movie Elf, you know that this is very important stuff, this is. So, you're gonna do as so. Take the thing of syrup and pour it in. A lot of it should do, because the more syrup you have, the more flavor you get from it. Guess that should be enough. That's a lot of syrup. She's the loo. So, now you're going to stir it around until all the snow gets syrupy from the inside and out. The maple syrup provides the snow with a sweetness that makes it... That makes the snow taste yummy in my tummy. Yeah. So it gets now that that's all mixed up, you can eat it. And well, after my last two times of eating the food, I have uh, taken some eating classes from some experts. I've got a lot better, so look at my progress. Take the spoon, and the, I mean, take the train and go to the tunnel. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> It worked! Thank you, experts! So you continue eating, or at least putting the train in the tunnel, as so. <laughs> I love eating now. Well, I wonder if the popcorn's all done yet. Guess it's not. Well, I think it'll be enough time anyways. So far, it's been in for about seven minutes. So. 
Let's see how it is. It's a, ooh, it's a little stuck to the thing. Hmm. hmm. Still, I guess I'll open this up. Get some uh, scissors out or something. Yeah. This will do. Okay. This will do. So I take these things. Grab it like this. Oh my. Mmm. That's nice and black. Just like I like it. Here, uh, I'll pour it in a bowl. <laughs> it got the blue bowl. Blue happens to be pretty much my favorite color. Other than the rainbow color. So, I pour this in here. And I mean, look at this high quality popcorn. It doesn't get much better than this, after all. Alright, so, uh. Uh, I have this bland gum. See? Oh, what a shame. I have this new Stride Mega Mystery gum. The only thing that's not a mystery is how great it tastes. So, uh, see you next week on the Ernie Peters Cooking Show, where we'll be learning to make garlic bread.